Hey guys, just wanted to come on real quick and show you some recent products that I've bought. I haven't been buying much. Um, like I said, I haven't done like a haul video in a while. I'm kind of trying to, you know, I just went on a trip and then I want to go on another trip here shortly. So just kind of trying to save money a little bit. Um, so I'll show you some of the things that I did buy aside from the separate Laura Mercier video that I just did. And I should have put this in here, but it was that one. I just wanted to show you more of the caviar sticks. But I bought her nail polish. I already talked about this in the color Sizzle. And like I said, this was an awesome, awesome um, orange type um, nail polish. More like neon, really, really bright. So I really put like really nice contrast against my skin tone. It, I painted my nails, I think the day before I left. I was gone for a week. Um... And it lasts beautifully. It didn't chip on my toes. It didn't chip on my fingers. I was very impressed by the wear of her nail polish. So if she ever has any other others come out and I like the colors, I'm going to go ahead and buy them. This is one of the best wearing nail polishes that I've tried in a very long time. And then I was very um, excited to try the Shocking, Shocking Pink Nail Lacquer. Um, and this is by LMDB. And it is a like a neon pink color. However, when you on my skin, the way the contrast is and the way the neons work against my skin tone, when I put them on, although you can see a very obvious difference between the Laura Mercier and then the um, LMDB, the, they looked almost exactly the same on my skin tone, so I was very disappointed because I wanted a, you know, a really, really neon, hot pink color, and this didn't do it for me. It's not the nail polish's fault. It wears fine. It's just the fact that these colors are so similar that I really can't notice a difference because of, you know, how neon plays with your eyes a little bit, that I need a little bit more of a different type of pink to kind of you know, show some difference, even though you can clearly see the difference when you look at them um, put together. Um, needed uh, eyebrow pencils. I usually use MAC. They're a little bit too dark for me. I don't like to do very much to my brows. Um, they are naturally pretty high. I just kind of like clean them up a little bit. If you look at my baby pictures, they kind of, they're about the same as they are now. It's weird. Anyway, so since I uh, ran out of the MAC, I've decided to try pencils that need to be sharpened. So I bought two of them. And I bought this first one. is the one that I bought first, so I've been trying the longest. And it's the Shiseido. And it is in the color Deep Brown. On one side, is you have the pencil here. And then on the other side, it has a brush, which I really never need but I'm sure it's helpful for those of you that need to blend out the color and then the other was this shoot a mirror hard formula pencil it's a very very long pencil so you get tons of product and I think this is the color seal brown which is very similar to um, the Shiseido one very similar and then you can see this one, the tip of it here. Now these are slightly different. The Shiseido one, they're about the same price. The Shiseido one is slightly more soft than the Shoot and Mirror. The Shoot and Mirror is very, very hard. And um, when I apply it to my brows, because it's so hard, you know, it kind of works with the hairs in your um, eyebrow and then the product comes off but if you're looking for a more natural brow or you're scared or you want to venture into filling in your brows but you don't want them to look fake or too perfect this is the perfect pencil for that because it's going to be hard for you to apply too much product and it just ends up giving me a more natural looking brow this one is not bad and it's more accessible than the shoot and mirror which i think you can only buy online and i only bought it i've been wanting it for a while but they finally came up with free shipping because that's the only thing i've ever wanted from them so anyway um like i said the shiseido is more easily accessible it is about the same color it also works with the hairs in your brow so if you try to swatch them on your hand it's not going to work however this one um, does not 
they both are more natural than the MAC and the colors work better with my skin than the MAC colors I think they're more cool but um, the Shiseido is just a little bit harder of a form excuse me the Shu Amira is just a little bit harder of a formula so you know you have it takes more work therefore you don't overdo it too much the Shiseido is a little bit more soft but both of them are good pencils and then the last thing I bought and I wanted to tell you about this in case it's still on the website now I the thing is I don't remember where I got it so check either sax.com or neimanmarcus.com they have this set from LMDB which I think it came out in the fall and it was where you could get a nail polish which I have on my nails right now and then it came with the lipstick and this set was I think like $50 and now it's on sale for $24 so you're paying $12 for the nail polish $12 for the lipstick it's a phenomenal deal and the colors are beautiful like I said my manicure is not new but I have the color on my nails and I really like the formula the brush is flat but it spreads out when you paint your nails so um, it's something getting used to for me since I like Dior but it it applies beautifully okay and then the lipstick looks like this it's more of a fall color if you're the type of person that does that I don't do that but I have it on my lips just so you can see it I just kind of threw it on so it's not like perfect but I just wanted you to see what the product looks like so check that out and see if they still have it on there I think there was two sets that came out initially I don't know if they both were on sale but this one was in my cart and it just happened to show up on sale in my cart you know how you go back and check your old carts and so I went ahead and purchased it <sighs> so anyway those are the things that I've purchased recently um, if you have any further questions or want me to go more in depth about something let me know but if you're interested in that deal I wanted to get this video out so that you could check it out okay